Sorry, would it be out of place to say that um, Madame is out of town? <laughs> How did you arrive at that conclusion? Um, I mean, just take a look at your grocery. You have everything that completes a woman's kitchen. You have vegetable oil, you have maggi, you have beef, you have salad cream, you have tomato puree. You, you even have spaghetti, even have rice and, and all that thing. You even have chicken. So, you know, I was wondering maybe Madame is it's, um, it's out of town or you just want to help her out to the grocery, that's all. Well, 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 I must say, I respect your intelligence. Uh, would I be saying that I was correct? Uh, no. Uh. Well, uh, I am a widower. Oh my God, sir, I am so sorry. Uh, would I... you like to come and cook for me? Uh, I wouldn't mind that. I would actually love to. If you invite me and um, if I have the time. I have been seven thousand now. What? Seven thousand, sir. Yeah, of course, of course. Feel free to call me anytime. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. By the way, my name is Biola Sumbo. Biola. I am Lieutenant General mm -hmm. Louis Duru Ohia. Retired. Now, sir, Louis Duru Ohia, a knight of the church. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 This, <laughs> this is so intimidating. I, I'm telling you. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, it was a pleasure meeting you. My dear, the pleasure is all mine. Yes, um, <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Yes. All right, have a nice day. Have a wonderful day. Yes, can I help you? Good afternoon, sir. Um, I'm here to see Miss... No, Sir Louis Do. Or her... Is she expecting you? Well, no and yes. Meaning? Well, just tell him that the lady he met at the supermarket some few weeks ago is here. My name is Biola. Tell him I came to cook for him. Biola? Yes, sir. Okay, wait here. All right. Yes, 
I do. But it's so sad. We are the verge of breaking up, and uh, we don't flow anymore. He treats me really bad. Anyway, what did you ask? Oh, nothing. I'm just curious. What are we eating today, huh? You okay? Come, what's wrong? Huh? What it's is it? It's my father. What's wrong with your father? He called and said he wanted to get married to one girl he met in the supermarket. <laughs> That's great news! That is the best news I've heard all year! He's met a girl, he wants to get his groove back on. I mean, that's, that's perfect news. We need to celebrate. Where's, where's my drink? That's excellent. He wants to get his groove back on. You remember what we went through? Your dad can love again? I don't like it. Why? Because the girl is just 24. So? So most of these girls are users. Any of them who knows my father's clout and standing will not hesitate to grab him for a husband. You know, for these girls, it's all about security. A man who could give them a secured future. Okay, first question. What shows this girl doesn't genuinely love your father? Second, what shows that she's a gold digger? Huh? She could just love your father for whatever reason. Not because of what he has, because of who he is. I mean, that also could be a factor, but big deal. There are some young ladies out there who just love older men. Because maybe the gray hair, big stomach, I don't know what it is. But he wants to get his groove back on. What's the big deal? So I don't like the sound of it at all. Why? <sighs> Baby, please sit down. Sit. Okay. I want to go to Nigeria. I think my father needs me. Listen, baby. I know you need me too, but we can relocate. There's Lagos, there's Abuja, both beautiful cities where you can find a good job too. I really don't like the idea of living as immigrants. Just listen to yourself, Louisa. Just listen to yourself. You think I really care? I just walked in today and I told you I'm going to get a promotion. Just today, and you're talking about relocate. I mean, what's, what difference does it make to me? Abuja, Lagos, who cares? Thing is, we're going to start afresh anyway. Why? Because you want to monitor your dad? You want to find out who he's sleeping with? Who he's sharing his bed with? What difference does it make to us? Huh? What about our marriage? Don't you care about our marriage? Fine. I'll make the journey alone. I'll be back soon. Okay. Fine. Do what you want to do, alright? Just, you know what? Just do you, okay? Only gone for a year. Things don't change that easily. Besides, few roads have been constructed. I can see that. 
So tell me about this Biola girl you suddenly want to get married to. <laughs> oh my dear, she is an angel. Oh yes, wait, wait till we get home. I am head over heels in love with her. I can see that. My bad. Very good, sorry. Come in. Come in! Hello, Louisa. How are you? No, I am Bella. Oh, no, we shouldn't do that. Wow. You know, I'm so sorry that I wasn't around when you came in. I see. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Just hot. But, um, how was your flight? Great. Wow. You look beautiful. Serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, cut up the flattery. You know, your father always talks about you. She's a princess, she's a darling, she, you, you know, a lot of things. But, you know what, girl? You are everything your father told me you are. I swear. <laughs> Um, let me finish packing, okay? So that um, I come out and we just later on, okay? Fine! I just want to pack, you know? I'm no, don't worry. Right. It's okay. Um, I'll do it myself. You sure? Yes. <gasps> okay. No problem. And I'll wait for you downstairs. By then, lunch will be ready. You know, my husband doesn't like to eat alone. He loves to eat with a mountain. Such a baby. Your husband? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, see you later. Ah, oh, no. You know, this feels like the sisters. Only that. Lisa, what do you think of my wife's cooking? She is the best cook there is, isn't she? <laughs> I am blushing already, darling. <laughs> you see, Louisa, my husband loves to praise me to high heavens. Well, it's because you deserve it. Coming into my life and turning my uh, boring, tired of life uh, 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 drop into a, a vibrant, full of life glow. Huh? <laughs> Louisa, we were talking about uh, Biola's cooking. Yeah. <clears throat> the food is good. I guess she did her best. Oh, she always does her best for me at all times. Mm. I'll have a little bit more, huh? <clears throat> No. No, darling. No. No. You see, I do not want you eating too much and growing fat. And having bulgy stomach. I'm not looking good for me. You're quite right. Um, would you like to take some? Oh. Yeah, if you allow me just a little. Thank you. Daddy, I think you should take some more food if you're hungry. No. Louisa, he's getting old. Digestion for him will be very slow. And if he eats too much, he might even get so fat. Mm. And I bet your husband isn't fat, is he? If my father is hungry, let him eat. Louisa. No, Daddy. Since when did you become this submissive? That you allow somebody else to make rules for you? Up to what quantity of food you eat? And you? Is that how you intend to marry my father? By controlling him like some little kid? Louisa, you are raising your voice. <clears throat> you know, I must say that I'm really surprised. Louisa, your outburst is so unnecessary or so uncalled for. At least it's better for you. Mm. 
Did she leave her husband's house just to come here to fight me? Don't worry, my dear. Don't worry. I will handle it. She's not even married to you yet, and she addresses you as her husband? No. Why is she in a hurry to take my mother's place if she's not a gold digger, like most of those girls out there? Louisa, you are wrong. She didn't know anything about me when we met. But Daddy, she now knows much about you. And her interest has grown hugely to become Mrs. Duo Ohia, a retired lieutenant general who has no heir to inherit his money except a daughter who is married. Daddy, you are a hot cake for girls, don't you know? Viola is not like that. You, you must accept her. Besides, I am hopelessly in love with her. She's the only thing happening to me, to my life, right at this moment. Daddy, I'm surprised at you. Where is the strong man I used to know? Where is the military man? What happened to you? Oh, love happened to me. The love that takes away who you really are is not good love. Get away from it. Come in, Biola. My husband. My dearest. It's bedtime. And I've been in the bedroom all by myself. Oh. I'm so worried. Um, Louisa, yes, we've got to go to sleep now. And so should you. Say me well to your husband when he calls. But Daddy, we haven't finished talking. It's important. No, Louisa. I mean, it's not right. Your father is not as young as he used to be. You need to let him go to bed early so you have quality rest. Louisa, your life's right. We'll continue with our discussion tomorrow. Oh, my dear. Good night, my dear. The whole thing where they scatter my hair right now, say, that girl is married. Sure? Married, though. I Don't said married. Now she say she won't leave her own husband's house. Come my own place. Come make me uncomfortable. For we are sister, they call my own heaven. I see her. See. Better don't come to this one room of yours in this household. Oh, wait hey. See, girl, now. Fight it out, now. Eh? See, bring this man's heart. You know? Serious. If he marry you, I want to marry you, eh? You're the better! See this one. See, girl, opportunity comes, but we'll do fast now. This one. I say I use what they call TLC. Tender, loving care. See, Abe, come. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. See, you know, I think it's time, you know, you should get that old man to get you pregnant. Fast! See, once that man gets you pregnant, you're secure. Mercy, I don't try. I don't try to get the belly. But it's insane, you know, I enter. Anyway, Sha, what have I make her? I hope so that I'm sitting inside. Try, Sha. It's a very difficult boy. They've done annoying myself. You'll just come. It's a Biola bag. And um, um, I can't reach on phone. This is how they pay me. <laughs> My sister, I had to fling that SIM card. Uh. As soon as I got to the gate of that man's house, I flung it. Yes, now. Why should not say it to the coco? Now we let's get fair, best. What's the apple? <laughs> so she had to tell you the truth that they fear. They fear. Because I don't want to make mistakenly now one day. The maker can't go catch me for inside Sir Louis' car. I go bad. You know, say I'm going to waka waka. I don't get any place, now they enter. It go bad, Sha. So, this is what's been going on in this house. Yes, Auntie. That is how it is now, no. Sir Louis does not do anything except she said so. He does not even go out if she's not going with him. Until the other day, Oga reduced my salary because she said 
I ain't too much. Auntie, he trusts and depends on her 100%. I want you to get somebody to watch her. The person should follow her wherever she goes once she leaves this compound. I want to know who her friends are, where she goes, and where she lived before she came into this house. Everything. Yes, Auntie. Arrange it. I'll pay the person very well. No problem, Auntie. It is done. Okay. And um, let me know when you've arranged everything, okay? Get back to me as soon as possible. It's okay. All right, take care. Bye-bye. If I ask anything of you, that is almost impossible. Can you give it to me? So, impossible? Mm. Oh, what could that be? Um, do you want my life? Because if you do, I've already given it to you. You don't need to ask, my dear. Are you sure? Of course. Okay. Okay. Well, I want. I want my. I want the car. I want you to buy me a car, a small car, a big one. If anyone, even if it's small, big, as far as it's a car of my own, that's what I want. But, but there are many cars in the house. You can use any one you want. No, like. no, no, no. It's all right. You, you know how, how Louisa dislikes me? Then one day we'll start struggling for cars and she will insult me and tell me that I'm eating her father's money, I'm taking her father's money, that I'm driving her father's car. Me, I want my own car. A car that uh, at least if she talks to me, I can show her the papers and see that it's my own. My name is there. That's what me, I want to. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll get you one. Are you serious? Tomorrow, you can have your car. Ah! <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. Alright, you're welcome. You are always welcome. Anything, my dear. Anything. Today, it's like the happiest day of my life. Congratulations. Oh, 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 thank you so much. Give me your heart. Oh, oh. You're really doing well for yourself. Thank you. So, where's my father now? Oh, he's having a bath upstairs. You know, it was. A bit of a stress trying to pick this out of the lot. I made a very good choice, didn't you? I see. Keep it up. You're really doing well for yourself. Let's take a run around town. Let's show the world what we're made of. Alright. Like go around, drive the car, please. No, thank you. Some other time. Oh, really?
slippery. Um, you whacked every day. <laughs> you like you saw up my dog, right? Yeah. Okay, very nice. This is my bedroom. Mm, nice. Feel at home. Yeah. You know? Wow. Hello? Oh, hi! Hi, Louisa, how are you? Hello, Nick, are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay, but I'm not okay, like, okay, because you've let me here, you left me here all alone. I'm, I'm lonely. I know, I'm so sorry, but look, you don't know what is happening here. She's a smooth criminal, and I am the only one who can stop her from destroying my father. Are you willing to do that at the expense of our marriage, our love? Come on, has it occurred to you one minute that I'm lonely? Baby, I said I'm sorry. Listen, please hang in there, okay? I'll be back soon. Let me take this girl to the cleaners first, okay? Okay, whatever makes you happy, fine. I can cook oh, for honey! Are you so light? Nick? Yeah. Where are you? I'm home. I'm home. Where, where can I be? I mean, I've come from work. I've come from work and I'm home. Who's with you? Somebody just spoke now. A lady's voice. Nobody is with me. Nick, I heard a lady's voice. There is no lady's what voice. What is wrong with you? There is no lady's voice. I'm, I'm in the house alone. I, yeah, listen, it's the TV. Yeah, just listen to the volume. It's the TV. You see, the TV was up loud. And was there somebody talking in there? Can you hear it? You hear it now? Come on. Sweet, don't you believe me anymore? Okay. If you say so. I. I just called to check up on you. Okay. Alright, okay, I love you. What is wrong with you? Is it because your wife called? She should have kept her damn ass here in this country. On me, Biola. I can see you started growing wings. Look, Rekha, you better have to stay off me. You better have to stay clear of me. Do you understand? That I went home to see my parents and they gave me this car to bring back to school. Is that what you're making a big issue about? And now that you're back from your trip, why are you not sleeping in this house? You're not telling them my uncle is in town. And I went to keep him company. Is there any problem with that? 
Look, my dear, you had better stop policing me. You had better stop policing me because you're just my boyfriend. Not even my father, not even my husband. So better stop it. There's any limits I can take. I'll beat the shit out of you if you raise your voice at me again. Hey! Me, Emeka. Yes. Emeka, try it. Emeka, I said, try it. I will kill you. I will. I will lose my see my heels in your head. You're mad. All right, raise your voice at me again. Raise your voice. Wait. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look at you. Come on. What's wrong with both of you? Emeka, why are you behaving as if you have an inferiority complex? Your girlfriend bought a car, so what? Man, it's your car too. So why she fled up and walked out on me? It's a mess. Just because I asked her where she has been all this day. Look, you better stop raising your voice at me, yo. Make it, make it tell this boy who I be, yo. Make you tell him what, make him stop the rest of it from my, from my head, eh? Stop it! Pio, it's That's all right, it's all right! See, get into the house. Man, you guys, you saw these things out. Messi, I'm not to stand this rubbish, eh? I can't stand it. I'll talk to you later, guys. You can see it. No, no, no. She has started growing wings. Sure. I better leave the girl alone, Jure. Ah. <laughs> Over your head. And if I don't clip those wings of yours, then my name is not Emeka. Hey, if your name is Emeka, buy this car! Enough to care for my baby. Oh. 